So this is a, the only opportunity I've had to, to wander around Modena in, in the daylight. Um, I don't know how much longer we'll have daylight, a couple of hours maybe uh, at best. Um, but it's a lovely evening, it's about 20 degrees. And what time is it? It is uh, ooh, it's 20 past 5 local time. Yeah, uh, 4.20 back home, man. Well, we'll blaze it. Um, so yeah, so it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be rude of me not to do some, uh, some Italiano uh, car spotting. Um, so we'll probably see some obscure Italian stuff uh, that we don't get back home. Um, and just generally, stuff on the continent is always better because um, we just don't know how to buy cars in Ireland and a lot of the good stuff's been scrapped. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, let's go have a look. And right in front of me is something interesting that we have, um, which uh, Christopher Cars. If you don't follow him on Instagram, and um, you probably do, if you follow me, you definitely follow him. Yeah, he he um, put my curiosity to bed because I saw one of these last night, but there was no badges on it. Um, I think this is an earlier one than the one I saw last night. Uh, the Fiat Palio, and this is the Palio weekend, uh, signifying that it's the it's the estate version. Um, yeah, like slightly smaller than a Punto, I think. Um, I'd built in Brazil initially, I think, but then they brought it out to the, the rest of, of, of Europe. Uh, uh, the rest of Europe, like, like Brazil's in Europe. Um, uh, 16 valve. There you go. Those are these jobbies knocking around. Um, I, think they're, uh, I think they're deemed quadricycles because you see a lot of uh, youths driving them. I think that's why they have these little plates as well. Um, An Axiom City. Um, sounds like it has a little two stroke engine in it, I believe. Um, yeah, but if they did that kind of shit over in Ireland, I think uh, I think all 15 year olds would, would, would drive them. I know I would. This being Italy, obviously, Fiat Pandas are everywhere, which by process of elimination means there's plenty of uh, Panda 4x4s, and this one is incredibly clean and uh, scratch and dent free, which is amazing for a rental car, rental car, bleeding brain, for an Italian car. Um, so prevalent, as you can see, there's one of those funky special ones as well, which the name of which completely skips in my mind. Oh, it's a panda panda. God, I love a lupo. I really should buy myself a lupo, but numbers are still on the ground over in Ireland. Um, love this colour. Um, those funky wheels, looks like it's a pretty well specced one. Is there 1.4, I wonder? The blue interior. Um, it is a 1.4. That would be a little gem. Pull across. Which obviously you can get over our neck of the woods, but you just don't ever see them. Um, shame it wasn't actually four wheel drive, but they are good looking, especially those wheels. Here's another Panda Panda 4x4. And they all say these as well. I don't think I've ever seen this over in uh, our neck of the woods. Natural power. Panda. Pre facelift multipla. Yes, it please. Future classic. Another Panda 4x4. Here's something you see loads of over here, um, obviously being Italian, but we obviously never got uh, Lancia Y10, is that what it was called? Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, what a funky little thing. And yeah, uh, I think this is a, a later one, or is this an Epsilon? Uh, this is, yes, this is an Epsilon. I'm sure they're crap, but you know, obscurity is interesting. First gen Punto, pretty bog old one as well. The time when you just be tripping over these in Ireland, and now you barely see them. What a great looking car. This is the uh, petrol station I, I stopped in on the way back from my adventures in Maranello, just to fill up my rental car with the, the fuel that was in it. Um, when, I, when I picked it up, uh, this is the pump I used. So you, you did all the petrol stations in Italy, well, this part of Italy seems to be self serve so you, you pay here. You can use card or notes, and then you, you just fill up um, whatever the amount you paid. I was actually the last person to use it because that's unless someone else put 25 quid in and 14.66 liters. Um, but that filled up at a liter every 30 seconds. It took fucking forever just to put 15 liters into it. Um, and also, on note, this main street that we're on here, um, when I was coming back, was a fully camoed up. Maserati SUV of some sort. I know Maserati's not far from here, I'm not exactly sure where, but uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was some sort of new Levante or um, something else, I don't know. Just thought I'd let you know. I think a country so caught up in style, this stuff wouldn't be allowed. But I suppose during the period of the PT Cruiser was Chrysler part of the Fiat Group. Either way, horrendous. Already Chico Trento, the young edition. Again. You're tripping over these in Ireland. 
Now you never ever see them. As I said before, my, my knowledge of bikes is, is low, but funky BMW Dakar Enduro bike. Me like you. Here's the Paleo weekend I saw last night. See, no badges, I had no idea what it was. Then I was a little bit drunk. Here's one of the new uh, electric Fiat 500s. Good looking car, but um, yeah. I don't think I'd quite jump on board with it yet. Cheeky little bath. Absolute Jimny pornography. Mm. Even when in Italy, one can drive a Jag. There's another one of these uh, quad recycle jobbies. Um, but they've sportified it. But um, big pipes, body kit, black wheels. I can fuse also. DCI, so is it a diesel? Ligier Sport JS50. Um, then it has Sport Ultimate. I saw Axiom somewhere as well. Was it on the front? Uh, I don't know, but funky. 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 If you can drive that from like the age of 15. I'm all for it. Lancia Mura, Mi, Mi, Misura, Mura, Mura. Um, yeah, this thing. Sorry for the dark light. It's uh, dark. Here's another one in a better light, in a lighter color. Uh, Mura, Mira, Mura, Mura. I don't know. Answer the postcard. This is for some pornography. Sorry again for the dodgy light. But a faded red Astra Estate. When's the last time I saw one of those? You fucking beard. That Jess Mundero Policia. I assume it's fire. Fuoco. Either way, deadly. It's going very dark now, but uh, I guess I'll come across with First Gen S3, which I fucking love because it's got these fucking Avis. Wheels. Yes, please. Again, sorry for the darkness. No idea what engine this is or spec level, but uh, it's just a cooking Julia. Um, something we just don't see, and it's fucking beautiful. Fuck the 3 Series. Jeez, here's another fucking early Astra Estate in white with black bumpers. Must be a must be a thing over here. I don't know. Future classic and in a state form. Well played. Uh, I stumbled on the Irish bar and well, now I've had a few of points because why wouldn't you? <laughs> um, see, so yeah, I didn't, um, we didn't, me, you, all of us, we didn't see a whole lot of stuff. But to be honest, it would have just been a collection of the colors lens flares. JJ Abrams, <laughs> eat your head out, look at that. How many more can we get? There we go. Ooh, there we go. Well, that's a hazard light flare. Um, I'll spin it this way so you can see me. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's up with my lens? Um, but yeah, it would have just been a collection of um, just like Y10s and Panda 4x4s. And, not saying that uh, shit isn't great, but I would have just been repeating myself again and again and again. Um, so now I'm just going to go get some food and then return to my hotel room because um, I have to leave at 8am tomorrow, local time, to get my flight home. Um, yeah, so if I see anything else on the return journey, I will obviously notice and I'll put it in. But. Um, I'll put it in retrospectively um, and I'll just sign off now because um, I'm a little bit drunk and I'm also quite tired and I think I should just probably just sign off. Um, this whole holiday trip adventure vlog has obviously been quite haphazard um, if I've managed to put anything together um, you'll have noticed and if not you won't see this at all um, and it will never see the light of the day. As I die, 
um, I'll, I'll put it in some sort of like vault you know hey look at this this is what my life was um, before I died um, sorry that's quite morbid um, but yeah look um, before I sign off my advice if you're coming to the whole Modena Maranello this part of Italy and do more than a day and a half which I've done because you could do a full two days just with Ferrari alone um, notwithstanding Lamborghini Pagani Maserati all the other shit that's going on and also just generally the local area which is beautiful it's Italy and it's a very beautiful part of Italy um, I wish I had more time but I don't um, so um, if you've watched this if this is even a thing um, thank you and uh, until I talk to you again stay safe stay well I'll talk to you again soon bye